Hey, what's good, Coach Colin Castella, and today I've got three sneaky ways that James Harden draws fouls and how you can use them too to score more points. If you are Quinn Snyder, you could not have scripted a better first half. Harden slithering for two. Well, no James Harden absolutely lives at the free throw lines, and it's one of the main reasons why he's such a dynamic scorer and why his point per game average is so high. A lot of players don't realize that they could skyrocket their scoring average four to six points just by getting to the free throw line more and capitalizing on those opportunities. So today what we're going to do is get, break down some of those secret keys. That way you can put them in your game. But stay to the end of the video because my guys over at East Bay have something truly special for you that you're not going to want to miss, and it's 100% free. So when we're thinking about James Harden and then drawing these fouls, the very first thing we want to talk about is initiating contact. Meaning, as let's say James Harden's driving towards the basket and he's looking to finish, he's a lot of times the first one that leans into the defender, right? Most offensive players, especially younger players, make the mistake of letting the defense initiate contact and it knocks them off of their spot. So a lot of times players just think, I'm going to drive to the basket, D gives them a little bump or a little hip, and then all of a sudden they're going off course and they're not going to get a good look. Now the bad news is refs aren't always going to call a foul, right? You can't ensure that they're going to call a foul every time, and a lot of times refs are going to let those little bumps go, especially if they don't see it, right? So what you'll notice with James Harden is he initiates that contact first, meaning as he's coming in, before he gets bumped by the defender, he's actually going to lean in and bump them himself first, because if you can bump the defender, this is good for a couple different reasons. Number one, it makes it so they can't bump you first, so you can keep your uh, momentum moving downhill towards the basket, but number two, it actually mistimes their ability to block your shot, right? So as you come in, if you initiate this contact, they're not going to be able to go up and block you as well as they would be if they just got a clean run at it, right? So that's an awesome perk as well. And the last thing is, refs are more likely to call defensive fouls if there's some sort of contact, right? And especially if you're the one that initiates it, you've all of a sudden taken their airspace, you would be absolutely astonished how many fouls you can draw by you creating the contact, not the defense creating the contact. So basically you can kind of steal your way to the free throw line and get super easy free points just by being the first one to lean your shoulder in. Now with that being said, I know somebody's in the comment section right now, well that's an offensive foul, you can't do that, blah, 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 and I, I get it, right? If you lean in way too hard and you throw your shoulder super hard, they will call you for an offensive foul. It's something that you gotta be careful of, but if you just do it subtly and you're the first person to make that contact and you don't really extend an elbow or a follow through, you'll be fine. They won't call you for an offensive foul. And if they do, that's okay because they're probably not going to do it the next time anyways. It's better to get to the line, you know, 50 times and get one offensive foul call than to get to the line once and never get an offensive foul call, right? So make sure you initiate that contact. That's a big deal for you. All right, so the next key that James Harden is an absolute master at is hunting his shot line. What I mean by that is anytime he's got the ball and he's holding it down here, maybe he's in triple threat or he's in attack position and the defender's playing, he's watching their arm to see where they're challenging the ball at, right? And from there, a lot of times he's going to change his shot line to draw a foul on a jump shot and get a free look. So what I mean by hunt your shot line here is as you're bringing the ball around, if I see my defender's forearm right here in the middle, my normal shot line might be up here on the right side. But if their defender's hands right here, I might go up the left side just so I can force them to foul me on my arm, right? You'll notice that a lot of times when players guard James Harden, they can't put a hand out like this because they know he's going to be able to sweep through and get that foul call going into a jumper, right? And get some, again, some free, easy points. So this kind of is a snowball effect, right? Number one, it's great because you can draw some offensive or you can draw some defensive fouls, get some free looks at the free throw line. But number two, it's great because if they can't put a hand out and they have to play with two hands back, it makes it so much easier for the rest of your game. You don't have that pressure. They're not going to steal the ball from you. So just by knowing that you can do this, you're going to make the rest of your offensive game even more powerful. So just think about no matter where you're at, let's say the ball's on my right, but their hand's still over here on the middle, I can move it back up the left. If the ball's on my left and their hand's over here, I can move it back up the right, right? So you're going to work on swinging up into your jump shot either direction. That way they foul you. Now, you always want to make sure that you're still able to hit the shot when you're doing this, right? A lot of times players see this and they're just like, ah, get the foul. You know, maybe they go out here and fish to get it, but then they can't get back to their jump shot, right? Make sure that if you are going to sweep it up and you're going to hunt that shot line, that you're still able to get up and do a pretty decent shot. And so if you don't get fouled or they don't call it, you're not just going to airball it out of bounds. All right, so the next key that absolutely works for James Harden is what we call H-Y-F. H-Y-F, and it stands for head, yell, flail. Basically meaning if you can do those three things together in combination, refs are automatically going to blow the whistle just because it kind of startles them and it makes them kind of think that a foul happened, even if maybe it really even didn't. So you notice James Harden when he gets, you know, let's say he's driving, somebody's riding his hip, he's getting to the hoop. As he's going up, if somebody tries to strip him or they have their hand on him or whatever, he throws his head, so he cocks his head back just like that to the ceiling. That's the head. He yells, ah! 
And then once he starts going up for the shot, if it looks like he's fouled, he flails his arms, right? Head, yell, flail. If you can do those three things, refs are gonna call a foul more often than not, just because why would you do that if you didn't get fouled, right? But we can kind of hack the game a little bit here. If you can practice doing that, and you can practice you know, finishing off of it while still doing that, you're going to get a ton of and ones, you're gonna get a ton of second chance opportunities. If maybe you missed the layup, you can go to the free throw line and capitalize on it. So again, it's your head throws back, Yell, gotta be audible and loud, and flail, right? I have a lot of young players that, you know, they'll get subbed out of a game, they'll be like, but coach, I got fouled, he hacked me on my arm, look it, it's red right there. A lot of times, if a ref don't hear something, they're not gonna be, you know, kind of, you know, apt to call that foul. You gotta be vocal, you gotta be loud, you gotta say, ah, and one, foul! You gotta let them know. Sometimes you gotta lead a horse to water, right? And referees are the exact same way. They're human beings, they're gonna miss some stuff. So if you can kind of hedge your bets, you can get free buckets and get more fouls, I guarantee it. All right, if this video helped you out, hit that like button and then head to the comment section down below and let us know what sort of video you wanna see next. We're always checking those comments to see what sort of content we should make. And if you're new to Shop Mechanics, hit that subscribe button because we're only gonna get you better. Also, if you're new, click the top link in the description down below and join our East Bay Virtual Training Center brought to you by my guys over at East Bay, where we've got tons of free training, tons of free workouts, drills based around your favorite superstars and their signature shoes. So they sent me over this brand new pair of Hardens. I absolutely love them. So all you've got to do is click the top link in the description down below and get a ton of free training from me and our guys over at East Bay. I'll see you there. Until next time, I'm Coach Colin Castella. Splash on.